So this weekend I played 15 runs of foot champions and got 8 20 and 0. So I'm going to be showing you guys the full custom tactics I use and hopefully they can help you get more wins. If you're tired of coming up against teams like this, you can get some foot coins through MMO EXP using the link down below. You can also use code Jambu for 5% off. Okay, so a few of you have been asking, and this is going to be the full custom tactic. So all four that I've been using, sometimes I vary off from these, but I would say these are currently the main four that I will use going into a game situation. You know, when I log into a new account to play for somebody, anything like that. These are sort of my go-to custom tactics. So if you do enjoy them, please do leave a like. Comment down below what is your favourite formation at the moment. And subscribe if you're new. But before we get into the video, guys, I've got a good place that you can use these custom tactics and win some awesome prizes. Guys, you can join this UK-wide FIFA 23 tournament right now. You can battle for prizes including international match tickets, signed shirts, a trophy and an Xbox Series S slash X signed by Football Stars. The finale is a showdown at Wembley Stadium. Register now for the online qualifiers at Battlefy. Your FIFA 23 glory awaits. Link in the description. Okay, so getting into the video, ignore this team. I literally do not play on this account. This is my own account. I'm mainly like, you know, playing on other people's to get them the champs rewards, uh, which if you are interested, um, you can check out the link in the description and book in for one of the team of the season weekends. But anyway, you guys are here for the tactics. So starting off, we do have the 5-4-1. In my opinion, probably the best formation in the game. It's not the one I enjoy using the most, but in terms of it being effective, I think it's probably the best. So you can see uh, we've got 65 on the depth, 50 on the width, balanced direct passing, 40 on the width as well. You can keep it quite narrow, you know, due to it being a five back and stuff. If your team's nice and compact, you're going to you know, not concede very many goals at all. Six players in the box, one on the corners and free kicks. And that is how I would line it up if I was playing on this account. So as you can see, uh, you know, for the striker, I would recommend having a five star, five star. They can get a little bit isolated on their own up there at times. So I think it is important to make sure that, you know, if you do get the ball with them on a counter attack, you're able to sort of hold the ball up, whether that be through skill moves or if you've got quite a strong guy who can turn well, that sort of stuff. Uh, for the wing backs, they are super important. You're going to want them to be better offensively than they are defensively. So, you know, if you add Mbappe, for example, at right wing back, that is absolutely fine. He doesn't have to be able to defend. It's more about what they can do actually going forward. Uh, for the two centre mids, I think they need to be able to offer in the attack. You wouldn't want someone like a Vieira. You would want someone who actually offers going forward. So when it comes to the instructions for me in this formation, I like to go with stay central and get in behind on the striker. Just making those runs, you know, for through balls and stuff like that. I run this formation, I think, a little bit differently to most people. In, and it comes here, you know, for the left and right mid. Um, I do have getting behind, but I have cut inside as well. And that is sort of me trying to imitate like a 3-4-2-1 where you have the left and right forwards. I'm trying to make that left and right mid basically inside forwards. And this combination of instructions seems to do that very well. We've got cover centre on the centre mids and then overlap on the wing backs. That is super important. You want them getting involved. They're going to be overlapping your wide players. And if you think about it, if you've got your left and right mid, you know, acting as inside forwards, you've then got the wing backs overlapping them and you have got serious numbers in attack. That is what makes this 5-4-1 so overpowered because it's so good defensively, but also amazing offensively. So, we then have this little beauty. I absolutely love this formation, by the way. I did upload a full video on this one, so if you want to go back and check that out, feel free to do so. It is a 4-3-1-2. Obviously, very similar to a 4-3-2-1, except you have a cam instead of an extra forward. Uh, we do have balance, 50 on the whip, 65 depth, balance direct passing, um, 49 on the whip there, that can be 50. I, I probably didn't put too much thought into that, to be honest. 
Uh, four, uh, sorry, not four. My, my head is absolutely gone, guys. Like 15 weekend leagues. It's absolutely finished me off, I can't lie. Six players in the box, two on the corners and three kicks. And that is how I would set it up. So, five star, five star on the cam is absolutely ideal. He's the link between that midfield and the strikers. If you can get someone who can shoot on either foot, pop a few elasticos, that sort of thing... You're going to be absolutely golden. Uh, the fullbacks are arguably the most important player in this whole formation. They need to be able to offer something going forward. For the instructions, stay central, get in behind, stay forward on the striker. Stay forward, get into the box on the cam. So, at absolutely all times, you've got at least three players. That little triangle uh, between the cam and the strikers, they're just going to stay forward create stuff you know get into the box like it's you've got good attacking options the middle center mid stay back while attacking cover center and then for the two outside center mids balanced and cover wing the most important instruction in this whole setup is this overlap on the fullbacks you need that otherwise this formation is dead it has absolutely no whip and if you had your fullback staying back you literally have zero whip. Everything is going to have to go through the middle. And as soon as your opponent works that one out, like you are just finito. So make sure you have the overlap. And that applies for if you're using a 4-3-2-1. You know, any of those sort of formations, you need the overlap on the fullback. We then have the 4-3-2-1. This is what I would switch to if I'm behind in a game or things just aren't working and I want to go a little bit more aggressive. So as you can see, it is a press after possession loss setup. 4-3-2-1 press after possession loss was actually like the meta last year as well. So it's a bit of a throwback there. You guys can see all of the tactics. Direct passing, 55 whip, 6 in the box. Corners and free kicks doesn't really matter. And it's sort of the same, you know, as a as a 4-3-1-2, except for you have that extra forward. Obviously, I'm playing this as a little bit more of an aggressive setup. Uh, we do have stay central and get in behind on the left and right forward and stay forward. Uh, what you want to do to defend in a 4-4-2 in this formation, if you guys aren't aware, on one of your wide forwards, you will have come back on defense. And then whichever side you choose for your forward to come back for that center mid that's on his side you want cover center and then also cover center on the middle center mid so i hope that makes sense right forward come back on the fence right center mid cover center pretty straightforward uh, cover wing on the opposite side as well so depai will be a right mid you put your two center mids here and then tadic will be your left mid when defending um, and then same again of course overlap on the fullbacks and you get a lot of attacking options, especially with the press after possession loss. Um, you know, it's just ridiculously aggressive. There is going to be gaps left, but you're going to create a lot of chances. And then finally, not too much to say, but it is an all-out pressure constant tactic. I feel like 3-4-2-1 is the best in the game for just numbers forward. So that is the one I pick. And then it's basically just everybody getting forward, staying forward, getting in behind. Like, it's just... It's a little bit nuts, but hopefully these help you guys. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. Remember to sign up for the FIFA tournament as well for the chance to play at Wembley. Free to enter, prizes to be won, happy days. But I'll catch you guys on the next one, and peace.